Also tonight, Detroit's Mayor Mike Duggan took his State of the City address on the road, this time to the city's west side, which served as one of his focal points for Detroit's investment in its neighborhoods, what the city's done and where it's going. Mara McDonald is live at one of the big reno projects up next on the list. Mara, that's the old Dexter Elmhurst Rec Center. Kimberly, it sure is, and I mean, this thing has been dilapidated in a mess for years. Not anymore. It's getting a total gut job and a total makeover. And if you take a look over here, this is Dexter. You see all the orange barrels and the signs? That, too, is part of a major rehab project. Just another example of a major investment by the city in one of its neighborhoods. Let me show you. On the rundown commercial corridor, we started this week building the $10 million Dexter streetscape. Sorry about the traffic out there today. Each year since he's been mayor, Mike Duggan details the next neighborhood project this city is on to. This time, it's Dexter that's getting the love, like the rehab of the Dexter Elmer's Community Center to be renovated and named after Detroit activist Helen Moore. Next year, this brand new facility will be the Helen Moore Community Center. Most of tonight was about community investment, whether it's rehabbing housing or getting rid of blight. You can't store your cars on lawns like this, okay? Uh, you can't store your commercial vehicles in our neighborhood. You can't store your whole fleet of commercial vehicles. The mayor says 2024 is the year Detroit finally rids neighborhoods of abandoned vehicles. A new 12-person squad is going hard on enforcement. And then there's crime. Last year, the big push was $10 million to try something new. Funnel that money into community groups to try and prevent crime before it happens. It sounded questionable at best, but the six-month report card is in. And while DPD has done a great job of reducing violent crimes, look at the drops in the designated areas where these community groups have been operating. If we keep this strategy of strong law enforcement and community prevention and do this year after year, we're going to get to the city that we all want to see. Back here live, one thing very interesting in watching this entire address tonight. You know, Mayor Duggan has not been particularly forthcoming about what his future plans are. Is he going to run for mayor? Is he going to potentially run for governor? I will say this, behind the scenes, there are multiple high-profile Democrats who are already testing the waters for a mayoral run, which certainly leads you to believe that he's not going to be running for mayor. Will he run for governor? Well, that's up in the air, but one thing's clear. The man who gave this address tonight clearly has no intention of bowing out of public life anytime soon. We're live on Detroit's west side on Dexter. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Okay, and, and Mara, the mayor's been pushing the idea, too, the city could put up enough solar panels in neighborhoods to eventually power all 127 of its buildings. Where exactly is that? Would you believe, Kimberly, it's full steam ahead? He said tonight in the address that he's going to be presenting his first request to city council to buy up land in, in certain neighborhoods. You know, different neighborhoods had to vie, you know, for the ability to qualify to be one of these solar panel communities. Full steam ahead, yeah. ready to put in his first request. See where it goes. Yeah, we'll be following it. Okay, Mara, thank you.